How's it going, guys? It is a Thursday evening, 10.24 p.m., 23rd of February here in Japan. And we have a pass level question for pharmacology for step one, okay? Very bread and butter, very easy. I'll just hop through some high points you need to know. Before we get started, please subscribe to my channel. I really appreciate it. Give the video a like, really appreciate it. Find me on Instagram, melman underscore medical. M-E-H-L man underscore medical links down below. If you have any Telegram, the links to the Telegram group and channel down below. Now start the clip, 34-year-old man, today history. Blistering around the mouth and on the cheeks, past medical history unremarkable, apart from having been prescribed an antibiotic a week ago for a chest infection. The pharmacologic agent responsible for this patient's condition most likely inhibits which of the following. So let's just hop to the answer choices here. Should I say Diala Diala? Wrong fucking answer. Okay, so this is what vancomycin will target normally. If we have resistance to vancomycin, such as with vancomycin resistant enterococci, we'll have a transition of Diala Diala goes to Diala Dilac. Okay, that's alanine lactate. So Vancomycin only targets gram positives combined with gentamicin for empiric treatment for endocarditis. It can be combined with ceftriaxone empirically for meningitis, also just for miscellaneous sepsis in the hospital. Okay, the combination of ceftriaxone bank uh, very powerful against uh, recalcitrant strep pneumo infections. Wrong fucking answer. Choice B, diatrophilia reductase. Wrong answer. It refers to methotrexate pyrimethamine trimethoprim, but methotrexate is the one you need to know. First line DMARD for rheumatoid arthritis, also used orally for psoriasis after patient fails topicals, or if patient has systemic psoriasis with arthritis, you just go straight to methotrexate. Now, methotrexate can cause pulmonary fibrosis. It can cause hepatotoxicity, neutropenia with mouth ulcers, and you can mitigate the toxicity with leucovorin rescue colloquially, which refers to folinic acid, not folic acid, folinic acid. Wrong fucking answer. Choice C, DNA gyrus, wrong answer, first to fluoroquinolone, so uh, e.g. ciprofloxin, levofloxin, so uh, DNA gyrus, prokaryotic topoisomerase 2 and 4, ciprofloxin for US simile, targets, uh, what the fuck am I saying, is used for pyelonephritis and prostatitis classically, Levofloxacin, respiratory fluoroquinolone, has better pulmonary parenchymal penetration. Obviously, they can cause tendinopathy, Achilles tendinitis, greater risk in male patients over 60 with renal insufficiency who are on steroids. Wrong fucking answer. Choice D, 30S, ribosomal sub inhibitor. Correct answer. So we have photosensitivity secondary to presumably doxycycline that was used for a mycoplasma pneumonia. Okay, so otherwise young healthy patients you get walking pneumonia. Uh, atypicals, mycoplasma, chlamydia, legionella can be viral, but mycoplasma, your typical walking pneumonia, we normally treat with azithromycin, which is actually a 50S ribosome sub inhibitor, but it's the wrong fucking answer because there's a couple points. One is zithro can be given one off stat dose. It's not given for a week classically. The other thing, doxy is given for a week. You know, somebody doesn't give a fuck about time frames. Okay, that's aside the point. What you do need to know though, that's high yield, is that doxy tetracycline antibiotics cause photosensitivity. Okay, so they can be used for uh, atypical pneumonias, but you can also, for instance, give just straight up oral tetracycline even for acne theoretically okay and that can cause the photosensitivity so 30s uh, refers to aminoglycosides such as gentamicin and also the tetracyclines uh, so it's a long discussion doxycycline you should know is used for lyme disease classically most of the time also rocky mountain spotted fever so photosensitivity okay for tetracycline antibiotics let's just uh hop to the final answer choice so i already said 50S ribosome sub unit, wrong fucking answer, refers to macrolides such as azithromycin, as well as chloramphenicol, nonsense drug in US simile, causes gray baby syndrome, uh, also linizolid, and that's also a non existent drug in US simile, and clindamycin, high yield, however, which is anaerobes above the diaphragm, clindamycin used classically for pulmonary abscess. Wrong fucking answer. You know the deal to make more content. If you like my stuff, subscribe to my channel. I appreciate your time. That's it.